I'm Gene Phillips with Camilla Webb, and I'm here today with legendary Georgia football coach Vince Dooley. Coach, everyone in Georgia and most of the South knows that you're a legend as a football coach. I know you're a member of the Southeastern Camellia Society and you grow many camellias. How did you get started with your passion for camellias? Well, actually, I uh, got started through football, if you can believe it. Uh, Dr. Dan Nathan, who was a big, big, the late Dr. Dan Nathan, and big, big Georgia football fan and, and, uh, and, and just a devoted friend. Uh, I started uh, talking to him about camellias because uh, that is his specialty. And uh, he invited me to in his home and uh, showed me uh, his greenhouse and what he's doing and uh, then started giving me some plants, some of his, some of his very best. And uh, I guess it was through him more than anybody else, though since that time I've, I've gotten to know you uh, and uh, I've gotten to know other uh, people uh, that's, uh, that's renowned in the camellia world. And it's, uh, it's just absolutely fascinating to me. But the, la the late Dan Nathan was the one more than anybody else that got me started. Okay. Um, you're well known for your gardening, and I know that you grow many different types of plants. But what is it about camellias that makes them so interesting to you? Well, I think that the, the great history, uh, I enjoy history. I was a history major, and uh, uh, the fact that uh, there's a tremendous history uh, uh, of camellias uh, in this country, uh, so much in Charleston. My home is Mobile, uh, and growing up in Mobile, I, I didn't know it at the time, but now I've been back to Mobile and really can appreciate uh, that uh, city and the fact that so many uh, camellias were brought in uh, to there from uh, places. And uh, so I think that uh, more than anything else, I think it's, uh, it's the wonderful history uh, of camellias. And uh, I think you could almost uh, spend a career uh, just uh, studying and writing about the history of, of camellias. Well, I know there's a camellia that's named for you. It's a beautiful red hybrid developed by the late Dr. Walter Homeyer from Macon, Georgia. What does it mean to have such a lovely camellia share in your name? Well, I'm very proud of that, and it's, uh, it's a tribute, really, to uh, uh, Dr. Buddy English uh, and to Dr. Dan Nathan, the late Dr. Dan Nathan. Uh, both of them, again, uh, big Georgia Bulldogs, and uh, they wanted to, uh, to name a camellia after me. And that naturally, it had to be a red camellia. And uh, Dr. Buddy English uh, uh, had quite a few seedings uh, from Dr. Walter Homeyer that he knew so very well. And when he passed away, he gave them to them. And uh, when they saw uh, this particular one that had won two seedling awards, with a single huge red flower, Georgia red, they thought that that would be the ideal one, and they submitted uh, the application, and it came back to prove. Uh, and uh, so I have it planted in my yard, and I'm very, very proud of it. It's about three quarters uh, japonica and one quart uh, reticulata, which gives it the beautiful big flower and uh, the big leaf. It's a tremendous uh, size leaf. Uh, and uh, so thanks to Dr. Buddy English and, and my friend, the, uh, uh, the late Dr. Dan Nathan, uh, I'm proud to have a Vince Dooley camellia. Okay. With all the many different camellias that you grow and are available today, what are a few of your favorites? Well, there are, there are so many. I, I'm just, uh, I'm, I'm a student. I guess I'm a professional student and I'm, uh, I'm always, uh, always uh, learning. And, uh, and if, if I, I never cease to be amazed uh, just coming to the, uh, to the show here in Valdosta, uh, attending that and uh, seeing these incredible camellias out there. Uh, it's, uh, it, it's never ending and it's hard to pick out a favorite because every time I think I've got a favorite, somebody shows me another one that's more beautiful than the one that I have. So uh, I don't know, it's kind of like children. Uh, how, you, how you gonna say which one is your favorite? Very good answer, very good answer. One final thing, Coach, you're a legend in coaching, and today we're here at the Valdosta Camellia Show with another legend in Hewlin Smith. Can you tell me your thoughts on the Camellia World's legendary Coach Smith? 
Well, I think it's a good name uh, because he is so well respected. And I want to take the opportunity to thank you, uh, Gene, for uh, you stimulating my interest as well and for the work that you've done on the, uh, on the Dooley Camellia, uh, trying to get more out because uh, there are people that want the Camellia. And I even uh, uh, heard from uh, a uh, Dan Dooley from out in uh, uh, Washington. He is the head of the Camellia Society in the state of, of Washington. He was looking for a Dooley Camellia and uh, we're still trying to find one from him. So thanks to you for, uh, for what you do for the uh, Southeast uh, Camellia Society. But I've gotten to know people like yourself and uh, Mark Crawford is another person that I've uh, gotten to know. Uh, and, uh, but the man that, uh, that you and uh, Mark look up to is Hulin Smith. And I've gotten to know him too because the last time I was in Valdosta at a book signing, he came by we taught Georgia football and camellias. And I, I was signing books. Uh, we, I guess we talked almost an hour about the two. And uh, I have now written a book uh, that's called In Dooley's Garden, A Horticultural Journey of a Football Coach. And in that uh, journey, it's meeting people like yourself and particularly somebody like Hewlin, who is so admired by everybody. And uh, so part of that uh, journey is the fascinating people that I've met uh, in the horticulture injury, in, industry and particularly in the, in the specialty of camellias. And uh, I'm, uh, I have paid tribute to uh, Hewlin Smith in my book. That is great. That's great. He has certainly been a coach to all of us amateurs learning to grow camellias. <laughs> All right, thank you, Coach. I appreciate it. Ah, uh, pleasure. Thank you. The only only other thing I want to make sure I get is a picture of you and Hewlin, and then that way yeah. you won't have to wait on 